What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well and hope you all are having a good week so far. So guys, I'm back at Rebuy Cars at the Brackenfell branch in Cape Town. I was supposed to go to the Rizm Park branch today, but specifically for this video, this branch has better cars. Today's video was requested by, um, what's the guy's name? Zayden Breeder. He requested that we should take a look at cheap cars for the young gents. If you want to look cool, you want to go sideways over speed bump while you're revving, because I know a lot of people, I don't know why the guys always rev while they go sideways over the speed bump, guys. Let me know why. <laughs> Today's shout out is going to CR Maps. Bro, I saw multiple of your comments on the YouTube video, so I do appreciate your feedback. I do appreciate your support. Stick to the end of today's video because we have a bonus car as usual. So stay tuned for the bonus car and let's see what cheap cars we can find for the young gents. Cheers. So guys, the first car in today's video is this 2004 BMW E46 325i. This is a special vehicle because it is an individual spec. So the car is currently on auction with a starting bidding price of only 33,000 Rand. Um, that is the mileage category B car, so you can't finance this vehicle. You guys will see that it has a green decor sticker and that is because the windscreen is chipped and the rear seat has WNT. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this car. It might be the best car in this video. So it has 17 inch wheels. I can't see what type of tires these are. It is a M spec with a sunroof. And this is how the car looks from the rear. You will see that it has a boot spoiler with a tow bar. And guys, just check here. You can see it has a sticker that says BMW individual and that is basically BMW's way of giving the customers an option to speak the vehicle to their liking. Um, it has electric windows with electric mirrors. You can see that, you know, this mirror is loose. You have a sunroof with black roof lining. So guys, it looks to me like the previous owner picked this car with every single option. This vehicle is powered by a 2.5 liter straight six engine which sends 141 kilowatts to the rear wheels. So yes so guys this is the engine bay of this vehicle and just to think that this engine drove 360,000 kilometers. Yeah, it doesn't even look like it. But they say from the Decra report that this car has no mechanical issues and also that it has no service history. So this is the first car for today. Just see how beautiful this car is in the daylight. And just to think that this car has a starting bidding price of 33,000 Rand. And it also looks to me like the paint of this car is quite expensive and it is the original paint of this vehicle. But man, guys, give me your thoughts in the comment section down below. So as you guys know, a VW Polo is suitable for every young gent. And that is because these cars are so popular when it comes to modifications. This is a 2015 VW Polo Vivo. It's not a R-Line because these cars didn't come out in a R-Line spec. So that is the cost price and the mileage. It's powered by a 1.4 liter motor. And this is pretty much a stock standard Polo Vivo still to be modified by any young gen that decide to buy this car. You can see that the fog light is um, a bit loose. It's riding on the stock standard 14 inch wheels wrapped with Dunlop tires. You have smash and grab windows. And this is how the car looks from the rear. As you can see, the badge was stolen, but they decided to leave the R-line badge at the back. Um, basically, the car is locked. 
but you have a five-speed manual gearbox with air conditioning power steering no electric windows um i'm quite surprised how a car like this a 2015 model vehicle has no electric windows guys but yeah pretty much this is another car for today and the reason why it has a green decker sticker is because it has noise on the rear xl the front right tire and the rear right tire are smooth and they also say that this car has a crack on the windscreen as you guys can see but yeah guys this is the second vehicle for today so gents since we don't have a specific budget for today i might as well show you this 2015 vw polo train line this is a car that i would personally buy with my own money i was looking at this car on the we buy cars website and man this car looks clean and i do like the wheels it suits the car quite nicely in my opinion and you also have a lip right here as you can see so this car is going for 112,000 rand with 130,000 kilometers but man guys this car looks quite nice but the third vehicle for today is this 2010 Kia Cerato Coupe and it's powered by a 2 liter motor that sends 115 kilowatts to the front wheels and this car is listed at a cost price of 71,000 rand it has 206,000 kilometers on the clock category b car so you can't finance this vehicle it has a green decker sticker and that is because um the steering is noisy and both the front fog lights are defective it's riding on 17 inch wheels wrapped with falcon tires we have indicators on the door mirrors and of course this is a two-door vehicle um let me just move to this side so you have twin exhaust at the back and the car is locked but you have all your regular things like power steering air conditioning a five-speed manual gearbox and they don't say that this car has any mechanical issues and it has a parcel service history guys so yeah this is the third vehicle for today so before we move on to the next vehicle i want to show you guys this 2008 honda civic type r and that 2011 polo gti i want to get your guys's opinion in the comment section down below as to which car is quicker between the honda and the polo so just a quick comparison the honda has a 2 liter k20 motor that produces 148 kilowatts the polo has a 1.4 liter turbocharged and supercharged engine that produces 132 kilowatts so already the honda is more powerful it has a naturally aspirated motor newton meters the honda produces 192 newton meters whereas the polo with a smaller engine produces 250 newton meters of torque and top speed these cars has more or less the same top speed of 230 kilometers but guys let me know in the comment section down below which car is quicker between the honda civic type r and the polo gti this is not the original spoiler because this is not a mugen uh, edition but basically this is how the car look from the inside it has a six speed manual transmission whereas the polo let me just see how the engine may look has a seven speed automatic gearbox so here is your k20 motor this car has 129,000 kilometers on the clock and it's going for 100,000 rand and guys this is one beautiful car so it's going for 115,000 rand and i will check the kilometers just now but guys to see how beautiful this car look with polo r-line rims yo and it's quite nice in the red so that is the kilometers 140,000 kilometers going for 115,000 rand but guys let me know in the comment section down below which car is quicker and it's not all about the kilowatts and the newton meters but it's all about the driver right so as you can see you have a automatic gearbox and you can change gears at the back of the steering wheel and since we checked the honda's engine let's see how the engine bay of this car look but yeah guys when it comes to drag racing then it's all about 
um, the driver so this is your 1.4 liter supercharged and turbocharged motor but yeah guys i'm eager to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below as to which car is quicker between the polo and the honda civic type r if you want to look cool but you have more than one girlfriend then here they have a 2001 opel corsa utility for you guys like i said if you have more than one girlfriend and it rains put the most important one passenger seat the rest can sit at the back of the bucky but this bucky as you can see had been lowered it's not riding on its stock standard front suspension this is the cost price and the mileage and it's powered by a 1.6 liter motor that sends 70 kilowatts to the front wheels and it has a green decorous sticker and that is because the router the number plate lights and the cv joints are defective and also it has a crack on the windscreen as you guys can see right there but let's see how this bucky look from the inside okay as you guys can see this is how the bucky look from the rear you also have a tow bar at the back manual windows manual mirrors a five speed manual gearbox with air conditioning and power steering and let's see how the engine bay look okay so okay so guys as you can see this engine produces 70 kilowatts from this 1.6 liter motor and over the years it might be that this engine lost power um so i don't know whether this bucky still produces 70 kilowatts but they don't say that it has any mechanical issues so guys this is another option for today so since here they have a 2007 audi a3 sportback and i'm looking at a sporty car here because most of us young guys like to show off and drive fast and now you must know that this car has a dsg gearbox so you have that dsg sound and that is also typically why we pay more for insurance than ladies because we like to drive fast that is the cost price and the mileage category b car and this car is powered by a 2 liter motor that sends 147 kilowatts to the front wheels it has a green decorous sticker and that is because both the front tires are smooth and the engine has excessive smoke the bumper doesn't line up properly it's riding on 18 inch wheels wrapped with roadstone tires you have a sunroof a double glass sunroof and guys just a tip right here if you want to be romantic especially on valentine's day what you do is you open your sunroof but wait until the sun sets open your sunroof then you look at the night stars with your nutter this is how the car look from the rear you have twin exhaust and um sorry but yeah guys your sunroof is vital okay so the car is locked but you have a six-speed dsg gearbox you have air conditioning power steering all your regular things um and the car has a parcel service history so this is another car guys so up next they have this 2000 ford fiesta it is a three-door vehicle and guys that is the cost price super cheap 199,000 kilometers on the clock and it is powered by a 1.4 liter motor that sends 55 kilowatts to the front wheels it has 15 inch wheels wrapped with falcon tires and as you guys can see the paint of the vehicle is not in the best state this is how the car look from the rear and as you can see right here as well paint has a lot of damage see how the car look from the inside so pretty basic manual windows manual mirrors and yeah guys um that is not something to impress your girlfriend with but love is not always about impressing your girlfriend right you get those loyal ones that won't care what car you're driving but yeah guys this is another option for today i don't know where to open the engine bay they say that it has a parcel service history guys so yeah this is another option for today so the last vehicle for today for the young teens they have this 2500 turbine 
and this is not the model with the v6 engine this car has the two liter motor that sends 102 kilowatts to the front wheels this is the cost price and the mileage and guys to be honest this car look faster than it actually is it has a green decker sticker and that is because the engine has excessive smoke and it's quite low to the ground because this is a sporty car you have twin exhaust at the back yo this car remind me of the need for speed underground two days guys so this is your interior all the basic stuff and let's see of the engine by look so they say that this car has no service history and this is the first time that i open the engine bay of this car okay so here is a two liter motor and as it stands this engine has driven 189,000 kilometers guys so yeah this is your last vehicle for today So guys, our bonus car for today is obviously not a Chinese car, but it is a Japanese car and it is this 1990 Toyota Crescida station wagon. And New York guys, this car is currently on auction and it has a starting bidding price of 81,000 Rand with 176,000 kilometers on the clock. And it is quite low mileage for a vehicle like this, but man, and it's crazy to think that you know this car is still holding its value um up until today uh that's how the car look from the rear it's not standing on the best position but man guys this car is clean so you have manual windows um manual mirrors and guys you have a five seat manual gearbox and as you can see 176,000 kilometers in the clock and this car is super clean guys yeah you even have like a light right here as you can see but let's see how the engine may look it's powered by a 2.4 liter motor that sends 80 kilowatts to the rear wheel so imagine you do like burnouts with a station wagon like this um but it is capable of doing burnouts guys okay so here you have your 2.4 liter motor and yo guys this car has a 70 liter fuel tank so it's not light on fuel but this is our bonus car for today and just after this vehicle i want to show you guys another car from the 90s and it is this Chevrolet from 1975 so far they have like two old cars here today um and this is how the car looks from the rear and the toyota is way more expensive than this car um as you can see that is the starting budding price and it says that it has 4700 kilometers on the clock but guys i can definitely feel that the toyota has a better build quality than this car and i know an uncle that had a car like this and at the back window it had a sticker that says always on time um that is our bonus car for today and this is just an additional car that i'm showing you guys 